So this video covers a tutorial drawing we've already done using uh, drawing instruments. But I'm doing this one to uh, sort of um, explain how we obtain the views. You've done it, you've done it already, but for the sake of um, those who had trouble visualizing the various views, um, I, I did this video to just explain or help with um, how the views were obtained. Okay, so this is a 3D view. Why 3D? Because we can easily rotate. Okay, to see whatever views view we are interested in. Okay, but our task is to produce the orthographic views. Okay, and we are going to in this video we are going to have our front view our front view to be in this direction okay, we are going to take our front view in this direction and see that it is di direction x okay so obviously our right end view is what we are seeing if we can look from from this side okay from this side okay our front view is what we are seeing if we look from this side our right end view our right side view is what we are going to see if we should look from this side okay our top view what you are going to see from here and our bottom view what we are going to see from down there down there what i just showed you okay so let me take my annotations So, like I said, we can easily rotate to see whatever views we are interested in. Okay, so let's quickly let's quickly go to what our views will look like. Okay, so over here we have our views. This is the isometric drawing. Okay, now we have our front view. That's your front view, and then at the bottom of the front view, you have your top view. The top view showing right here that's your top view and then your right end view as always you can see that your right end view is positioned on the left side of the front view that is in, in orthographic projection our right side view okay is positioned at the left hand side of the front view orthographic projection okay thank you very much